Welcome back. We're skating along on Morning Barbados, and uh, joining us is, is a, a young lady who is more yeah. renowned for dance mm -hmm. than for ice skating. Doug knows me. Doug knows me. Oh, you did not? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I Wonderful the choreographer. I only knew about the dance part. Mm, okay. <laughs> Don't leave the Smith, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. Good, glad to be here. I'm awake. <laughs> 6 a.m. You, you do it for us. Yeah, we, we, thank we appreciate you. the effort you put in. Well, we are great to be here because we're talking ice skating today. And everybody's been asking about ice skating, so I'm glad to be here to talk about it. And CBC is one of our sponsors. So well, thank you, CBC. Good morning. Ballet on ice. Mm -hmm. Moscow Ballet on ice. Right. Well... Um, essentially, before we've been fortunate, when I was the principal of Barbara's Dance Theatre, all the dance comes in, we had brought um, the Bolshoi Ballet to do Swan Lake at Frank Colomo Hall. We brought the Georgian Folk Ballet before. And so when this opportunity came up now, I was like, ice skating? Okay, this sounds great. Um, the first um, misconception everybody has is that it's a show in a ring. It is not. It's an ice ballet. So it's a proscenium show. And it's therefore on a stage. So yes, everybody, we are icing combo mirrors school stage <laughs> yes we are don't faint all you common variants out there we are the stage is going to be fine um it's a wonderful process uh, that they've been doing around the region they've been antigua they've been in trinidad they're in aruba now and they're coming home to barbados and actually some of the world stars are actually flying in especially to barbados from russia for the barbadian show so it's going to be a fantastic fantastic show and that starts on the 9th that starts on september 9th we, we took up the show on the 8th because we were getting the ice in but on september 9th to the 11th at Co major newt hall combe mayor um we will be the having university of waterford. <laughs> the university of waterford we will be having moscow stars on ice we will be icing the entire stage tell us about that process because a lot of people have been inquiring as to yes how are we going to get ice in the Combermere. Well, first of all, that's why the producers, the international producers, selected Combermere because of the acts. There's a very special generator that La Parkin is offloading for us on Tuesday. It is huge. It takes about five gallons of diesel an hour. So that's about a thousand gallons of diesel. We have to be running non-stop. That's a large carbon footprint. Yes, it is. <laughs> Um, and essentially what we're going to do, we're getting chipped ice, almost like snow cone ice. There's a, a company here that we're purchasing it from. And that ice is going to be frozen. And there's some method that uses a safety method that creates a special layer on the stage to keep the stage safe. Then the generator works with water to actually ice the entire stage and keep it iced for those days. Okay. Well, yeah. That's so that's that. I know CBC cameras are coming along and the press are coming along as well too to see that yeah. process because it's just going to be fantastic to see the stage ice. And people be asking me, Donnie, should we get an ice skate from the stage too? <laughs> well, we have a special matinee for children on Saturday and Sunday, and we're actually going to give people a chance to meet the stars. I don't think you're going to get an ice skate, wow. but we've done it for children. And I have to say a very special good morning to Virgin Atlantic and all of our sponsors because we're, Virgin Atlantic is allowing us to at least sponsor a hundred underprivileged children and children from the children's home to come see the show because <laughs> tickets are a little bit pricey but it's a very expensive production I have to tell you with world-class performers um, it's 160 general for adults 180 premium balcony seat you know you have a really nice feel like there's a balcony at Combermere yes, yes. <laughs> Come to see the stage, but we know, and it's fifty dollars for children. And we were trying to get another sponsor so we could do it for all the children of Barbados. But so far, only Virgin Atlantic has come on board with us, and so we're going to allow a hundred underprivileged children and children from the children's home a chance to see it. Because as I explained to people, we don't do this to make money. We do this because, as an artist, the more you're exposed to, the more you see, mm -hmm. the more you learn, the better our talent. And these are world champions. They've been to your Disney. They've been to Japan and they're coming to Barbados. How big is the cast? Well, the cast is about 20 persons in total. And as I said, they, it was actually created in 1986. They started touring in 1986 because one of the Igor Borgen, one of the lead Olympic champions of Russia, after he retired, he was like, you know, we, we need to make this more accessible in a form because everybody can't put up an ice rink. So we, did it, we did it in Barbados in the early 90s, but it's that. still a very expensive production to do. So they found a more compact production that's easier to travel. And we're doing Swan Lake and Cinderella. It doesn't so, get much more classic than that no, in terms of ballet. Exactly. And Cinderella, I'm like, forget Swan Lake. I am a little girl. I want to see Cinderella. <laughs> we're, we're all little girls at heart. All right, we want to see Cinderella. So one act is Swan Lake, one act is Cinderella. Mm -hmm. And they've been 
touring the Caribbean to rave reviews. They're actually even going back to Trinidad. It was so successful in Trinidad, they're going back to Trinidad when they leave Barbados. So I take it it wasn't a hard sell to get dancers from Chile, Moscow to come to Barbados for a couple of days. No, that's not. And ironically enough, what they, they try to do in the companies is a large company give everybody an opportunity. So as I said, from Barbados, we're very, very fortunate because we're getting the top stars. The uh -huh. top stars are Coming. flying directly from Russia come into Barbados. What did you say to them in that meeting, Don Lisa? Come uh, on now, dish. Well, the one I said to them was, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, it was in the middle of Carpo when I got a call, Don Lisa, would you like to, um, can we bring the Moscow stars on Ice Valley? Ironically enough, they came, they selected, mm -hmm. they came first and looked to make sure there was a location Chen, in that, Barbados. That uh -huh. And that's why, again, it was about Combo Mirror because mm -hmm. Combo Mirror had the right logistics, the height of the hall, you had the top balcony, you had the tiers, mm -hmm. all that. So it was a great opportunity to do that. And I suspect your Russian has improved somewhat. Um, not really, no. <laughs> but my Spanish. <laughs> but what it will improve is the lives of 100 underprivileged children whom mm -hmm. you're doing this um, for. So you always bring good news when you come to Alisa. Try, try. Always bring good news. And thanks to the sponsors, of course. Thanks to all of our sponsors, of course, CBC, Virgin Atlantic, The Nation Publishing as well. Digicel, the Bigger Better Network. We have to say thank you to Digicel. Wine World, H. Jason Joan Foods, who are giving us lovely sliders to be sharing with everybody at the thing. So we thank you to all of our sponsors. The Ice Ballet in Barbados, the Moscow Ballet will be here to do Swan Lake and Cinderella. Their shows from the 9th of September to the 11th. Tickets are pricey, but it is worth it. I've seen the Bolshoi and they're incredible. Don Lisa Callender-Smith, uh, well done again and good luck on a great show.